Hi, Watermark family. This is Melissa. I'm the children's and families pastor here. Um, just wanted to check in with you, say hi, let you know I'm thinking about you, and um, share a little something with you right now. This is First Chronicles 16, 23 through 31. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among the people. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all other gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are his dwelling place. Ascribe to the Lord all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Uh, sorry. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in, spl in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. I love that. Let me say it again. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. And I know that there's a lot um, in this, but what I do want to point out is um, a long time ago when I was dealing with some anxiety and some depression, a very good close pastoral friend said to me, you know, when, when you don't know what to do, when you don't know what to say, when you have all of these emotions and you don't know what to do about it, put on worship, sing worship, and just let that fill your home, let that fill your heart. Because I don't believe that when you're worship, worshiping God, that fear can exist and anxiety can exist. So even when I don't feel like it these days, I just turn on that worship music and I worship the Lord because he deserves it. And I want to offer that to him. And so when you're feeling it, when you're not feeling it, I've learned that that since I've, I've made it a priority to worship, since I've put it, put it as the number one thing, I do it no matter what, it becomes easier and easier. Because I've had times where I'm like, I don't feel this, I don't, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna worship, and I turn on the music and I just sit there kinda angrily. But as you continue to practice it, it becomes easier and it becomes more joy-filled. And I find now that there hasn't been a day in the last few years that I've listened to worship with, an, with a frustrated heart. Every time I turn on that music, my soul wants to sing to Jesus. So I encourage you to do the same.